Hey guys, Michael and Aris here with SimpleNursing.com. I'm so excited about today's lecture because we're going to be talking about the three things that you need to know to cut your study time by 60% and still score a B on your next nursing exam. So we're going to go into it right now. So the three things that you really need to know I have outlined right here. Before I start with this, um, I just need to say that uh, this video is really going to help you cut study time. So watch me, please. Don't log off. Watch me. Um, the main thing that uh, we do for SimpleNursing.com is make nursing school more simpler. So uh, I never forget my first day in nursing school where they say, you know, to uh, students who've been out of school for five years just waiting to get into school and then finally starting again, who haven't taken a test in a while, say, here's your books, go study. I kind of liken it to we're at a big river and the river is just, you know, really, really raging. And the whole class is standing at the river and the instructor says, here's your tools, your book and your PowerPoints and all, and cross the river, build a boat, cross the river. So simplenursing.com right now, we're going to give you the speedboat to get across this river. So come on, let's do it. So let's get across this river in the speedboat. So it's tip number one for your three tip um, um, manuscript we can call it, is do 15 minute increments of studying. So I see people block out two hours of time, three hours of time to study just straight through. And studies have shown that you understand and you retain the um, amounts of information on the ends of those study sessions. You lose everything on the, on the uh, in-between time. But you really only retain the stuff that you've started in the beginning and you really learn at the end. So, cut your study time by 15 minute increments. So, if you're studying cardiology for that day, you're going to study cardiology for 15 minutes, okay? And then you're going to take a 5 minute break, then you're going to study again for 15 minutes. Because, we know things like to distract us. So we're going to make a box like this. For 15 minutes, no one's going to distract us. We're going to be in the zone. No Facebook, no kids, no hubby, no making dinner, no taking out the garbage, no answering the phone. This is 15 minutes that you deserve for nursing school. And no one's going to be climbing in that box to pull you out. Okay, You're going to be in that box for 15 minutes. Then after 15 minutes, you can say, okay, great. I can take care of whatever that needs to be done. Anything that gets in that 15 minute box is called a time vampire. They try to suck the blood out of you and suck that time from you. So do not give in to those time vampires. Make those 15 minute increments. Now how many 15 minute increments can you make? As much as you want. You can do up to 5, 6, 7, but make sure they're 15 minutes long. Set your timer. I usually set my timer around 12 minutes and that really tells my mind, okay we just need to wrap this up for this study session. Because when I um, read and when I go through my PowerPoints or if you're going through a book, you're highlighting, right? And you're highlighting the most important information to go back and restudy that information. So here's tip number two. Tip number two, we're going to be talking about all the highlighted information that we got from our 15 minute increments. We're bringing that highlighted information down and making note cards out of them. So we're writing keywords on our note cards and writing something on the back of the note card that um, was really provoking us to thought. Now when you make note cards, make sure you don't put one question on one note card, okay? Put five questions, up to five, on one note card. Because you don't want to be carrying around a big fat stack of note cards anywhere you go. Because it's going to be inconvenient for you and you're not going to keep up with it. So why do the note cards? I'll tell you right now in three easy steps. It's going to cut your study time you're going to be only understanding basically by the key concepts and you're putting all that highlight information down into some note cards. It's more convenient for you, rule number two, because you can take it to go anywhere. Go to the grocery store with them, go to the kids soccer games, go to the karate center, go anywhere you need to go with your note cards. And the last reason is because note cards are fun and friendly because um, they're going to help you understand and focus on those key concepts that really sets you up for uh, rule number three for your NCLEX questions. Because when you're studying, 
We usually study in blocks of time and we study in pathophysiology form. We don't really study with key words in mind. And you have to think about key words when you're taking NCLEX questions. And, uh, or when you're taking your nursing school test questions. Because they're going to give you a, a question and there's key words in that question that relate to one of the four answers or five answers or choose all that apply in your multiple choice questions below. So you need to be making sure you're taking out those key words and applying it to what answer that fits best in the key below. So that's why rule number three, I talk about taking 50 to 100 NCLEX questions if you want to really get a B or better on your next nursing exam. Because the more questions you take, the more uh, comfortable you're going to feel in that test and um, the better you're going to do on, at the end of school when you're taking the NCLEX. So guys, NCLEX free questions. We have them at simplenursing.com and you have an all access pass basically to get as many NCLEX questions as you like. We give you the link to the website. Um, so become a member at Simple Nursing and hopefully these three steps helped you to become a better student and cut your study time. Thanks so much for watching, guys.